and welcome to episode 7. I think it's 7. Yes, it is 7. So, before you start, I'm going to admit to the fact that on the last episode I forgot to put this lip all the way around here. So, I've done that now, but you should have done that on your last video. So, make sure that's done. And I've also, like, like I promised, I did it on the other side as well. Did the whole lot. So, we should be matching both sides now completely symmetrical okay now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna start off by doing the next two pillars which are gonna be the main ones that run either side of the top kind of arch alright now it follows a very similar theme to what we've got on the front here now the next panel across is gonna have a similar thing to this but slightly bigger so instead of having a five gap between the pillars we're actually going to have a seven block gap okay so it's another two blocks wider so if we get over to the back here we need to mark out where the next pillars are going to be so follow in line with these top ones and just mark out the seven gap that you need one two three four five six seven and then put your pillar down there okay so there's where your next pillar is going to go and then the same on the other side one two three four five six seven there we go so it should be two over from where the previous ones are okay so that's where your pillars are going to come up now you need to make them as tall as these these ones here but even taller so you need to be I'll show you so just build it up to the same height and then when you're there you can usually judge it by eye or you can count it if you want there you go so I'm at the right height now you need to increase it by another 10 blocks so you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 Okay, another 10 blocks high. So that's where you want to bring these pillars up to. Now you I'm not gonna do all of them because you just get bored. But every single block around this pillar and the other one needs to be up to or I always fly up too high. Always up to the same point. I'm losing my words today come up to the same point here okay so 10 higher than the previous ones and then we can go from there and there you have it there are your two pillars all the way up to the top okay so I think the easiest thing to do next is to put the tops on these pillars because that will help us with the next with the next part okay so I'm just gonna quickly pop these on now now these are gonna be they're not gonna be the same as the ones we did on the last video they're going to be like the previous one so they're going to be flat on the front and back obviously unless you prefer the other type in which case you're more than welcome to edit away as you will now I make I'm gonna make most all of these hollow um, only because you, you're not going to see the inside so and then I just quickly do the same on the other one Oy. now these are at the same height aren't they? yes I did check that, thought I did so quickly work around the top of these sorry it only takes a second so no point stop in the video for that quickly 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 there we go so there's your two tops on the pillars there okay now we're gonna bring up into another point at the very top the very kind of apex now Ah, oh, I forgot to figure out where it goes. Ha! Huh. Nice. Go me. Okay, one second. 
okay there we go right it goes in this wall or this top is going to go in line with if you're looking at the inside of the pillar here the third one back okay so there all right and what you want to do is you just want to bring it start working your way up on both sides until you reach the center okay so I'll just quickly do that now it's going to come into a nice smooth kind of 45 degree angle point BAM! like so okay so there's going to be the top of your cathedral like so now keeping everything in line uh, by by that I mean all of the tops of these pillars here are in line all of these everything's kind of in line so you've got lots of kind of straight work here now this doesn't quite look right because you've got the tops of these pillars here comes across and then you've just got nothing you just got a kind of solid pillar running around so what we're going to do is instead of having obviously because we can't have a pillar top right in the middle of a pillar because that would just be stupid we're gonna do you remember what we did down on these pillars here with these kind of angled steps here we're just going to throw a couple of those on all right so start the base at the same height as where the, the other pillar bases are and then just it's funny noises that minecraft makes i don't know okay so chuck a couple of these on like so one there and see what I mean it's, it's kind of following in line now nicely across and then you want to do the same on the other side there and then again and then again there now obviously you're not going to want to come all the way back here because you're going to have a wall here oh and now it's getting dark fantastic your wall's going to come down there so you only need to come up really flush with that all right and then we're going to start working out where the kind of we've got a main window that goes in here so let's start working on that I'm just going to turn it to daytime okay so the window you're going to want to get some glass as well uh, obviously uh, but we're going to outline the window with the stone slabs okay so the window will start kind of a block gap away from this outer edge here okay now the very side is going to be three blocks okay now I'm going to do this to show you how the window is made with regards to the actual kind of curvature that we're going to put onto it so there's going to be one of the corners alright so you've got three across the end face two one one then up two up three and then you're at the same point as you were at the bottom okay now the bottom one of this outer three needs to be in line with the top kind of third step of this here alright so we're going to carry on and just finish this off on the way around uh, one, two. It's so much easier marking out a circle on the floor than it is to keep uh, destroying blocks. And if everything works out, you should be the same distance away on the opposite side. Oh, okay. Two, one, one. Two. There you go. So there's going to be the shape of your window there. A nice big sort of circle. So there's the outline there. Now, what we're going to we'll fill that all in in a minute. But what we need to do here is this wall is obviously going to come down 
and it will be the same as the rest. So it's going to meet up with the floor of this. All right, so we're going to fill in this floor along here. But what we're going to do is this archway that we made on the bottom level, we're going to bring back to be part of the wall. Okay. So let me just put the floor in here and you can see how that's done. Okay. So all of the outer faces here that you see up both sides of this need to be extended up to here. Now you don't just want to go and put in a flat wall here all the way down because you're going to cut off the top of this this doorway from the inside. Now when we get over to the inside we're going to put another archway up on the inside here so you don't want to have it all blocked off by a piece of wall which is why we're going to do this now so that we don't screw ourselves up later. So you just do like this all the way up and if you've done it right the top bit the very top should come up just underneath where the window is okay so what you need to do is you need to do that on both sides do the floor here on both sides as well and then you need to fill in all of the outside with cobblestone and then the inside of the window with glass so I shall do that and as if by magic this is what you have okay so there you go, you've got your glass in the middle, your cobblestone around the edge, you've got this archway kind of protruding all the way back there to hit the wall. Now what you want to get, oh, if I didn't have my too many items on, there we go, you want to get out some sandstone because obviously that's the theme we've been having as the kind of decoration on this. So crack some of that out and then we're just going to put another kind of outline on the window. It's quite a simple one so just kind of literally on the outer edges of the, the the stone slabs that we had just fill it in round now I'll take that block away there there we go, so then we've got a bit more decoration there now I don't know why I did it on my build but just might have been add to add some emphasis but what I had was like another kind of support beam that ran down underneath here for some reason I had it coming out by two so I mean it was there so I'm gonna put it on I don't I don't quite know what was running through my mind when I did that but I'll shove that on anyway so there you go, or it just adds kind of a bit of extra kind of shadow, a bit of extra depth on there and then we do the same on the other side I think I know what I did, I think when I started doing the bit around the window it kind of started from the bottom here um, went up and then followed round the top and I didn't have this bottom bit, I think it just kind of went over the top there and then I ended up making it into a circle and then I kind of got left behind but either way I'm gonna get rid of this rain okay so there's that bit done now you might wanna I'm not sure exactly how I did it on mine uh, we because we kind of wanna put in the we wanna put in some of this like we did last time one, two, three. I think this is what I had last time. Whee. I think I had like fives on the sides, threes at the top, and then one each side. And then I'll oh, get my glowstone out again. Now I didn't cover glowstone over the whole window this time, I think I just outlined it. Just going from memory. Ooh. So I mean, this you'll probably want to do something of your own, something that's a, your own take on this, but 
this is what I believe I did like that so when you look at it from the other side you've got kind of a slightly different similar but different you know because it's a bit bigger you want it a bit more ornate now you want to get out some what do you want to get out get out some torches okay and then you can just light these up in the same way that you did before do, do, do. and then as well. Now I've just realised these pillars, these the tops of these pillars at, on on my actual build were they were the flat back flat front ones, they weren't these pyramid style ones. But either way it doesn't really matter. I mean they look just as good as the others so Oh man. There we go. So you've got that lit up, you've got that whole panel built, you've got your pillars in and there we go so that's that for that episode, we'll, we'll just kind of finish off these gaps on the next one these little bits in here and then that'll be pretty much the front of the cathedral done quite a lot of progress has been made which is quite good uh, so yeah on the next one we'll do those two last little bits uh, and then we'll have a look at where we're going to go from there and then the episode after that we'll, we'll probably start working down the sides and start kind of extending back a bit more. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.